Disney Star Wars shills have been enraged since the cancellation of The Acolyte, the worst performing Disney Star Wars show on Disney Plus to date. And that's saying something. Now these same Disney Star Wars shills have reached a level of clinical insanity that boggles the mind. And we've got to talk about this today. You know it's not commonplace for me to talk about other YouTubers and personalities out there in social media, but today I think they have gone so far off the rails that it demands a response from the entire community out there because this sort of defamatory behavior on their part simply cannot continue and you're not going to believe how far they've gone. With uh, this is from Anna, uh, Star Wars girl, our buddy out yep. there that posted this earlier. Look at the Disney shills. They decided they would write up a manifesto in attempts to demonetize, deplatform Ryan Kennel, uh, geeks and gamers, that whole family, uh, nerd rotic. These wackos took the whole. If you're not with them, then you're my en- enemy line. Way too literally. They all need serious mental help, and they they have actually gone in here. And this is from. Uh, the infamous Kyle Katarn, uh, who has been one of the biggest Disney Star Wars lunatic shills. Uh, this is one of the types of people we were just talking about with these other games, right? They, they'll tell you that you have to, the Acolyte was awesome. The Acolyte was the best thing Lucasfilm ever did. and but But all the rest of the guys like him, they weren't watching it. They weren't watching it, and the show failed on its own. So well, now they're coming. Can you really take a guy seriously else. who's literally named after a Star Wars character? Pretty much. This is like, yeah. Come on, guys. And, and you know all the all these these are some of the guys like Kyle Katarn. I'm sure. I, I I'm pretty sure. I, I may be saying this factually, but I'm kind of saying this as a as a what if. But I'm pretty sure he was one of these guys that was flown out there by Ubisoft for Star Wars Outlaws, uh, along with a lot of the other uh, folks in his uh, collective out there in the. It's Disney just Star funny Wars how they fly sense. out yeah. all these people for Outlaws, but they wouldn't fly out Star Wars Theory because he refused to give them good coverage if the game was bad or not. So they're like, yeah, we're not we're not taking you. He's literally the biggest right. Star Wars channel. It's just great. Right, right. But good and, for him. And, yeah, and, and and the thing was not that Theory refused to give them good coverage. He simply said, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I'm, I'm not going to sign anything that says, you know, I, I'm going to I'm going to fluff your game. You know, if yeah. it's good, I'll, I'll say it's good. But if it's bad, I'm going to say it's bad. No, thanks. We don't need you. It's like they knew. Yeah, they knew. So, yeah, that's why they flew them all out and buttered them up and gave them free Disneyland rides and everything. Because if they do all of those things, then they're compelled to give you a good review, which immediately yeah. makes it a conflict of interest and you can't really trust them. So that's why when you saw the uh, when Outlaws came out, it had inflated Twitch view numbers. Mm-hmm. That's only because Ubisoft gave out a bunch of keys for the game to a bunch of like yeah. influencers and content creators, whatever streamers. So they would play it. And then, you know, after like a day or two, thousands or tens of thousands of keys, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And after like a day or two of, you know, the coverage, obviously a bunch of influencers, whatever, were like, yeah, I don't like this game. I'm not playing it. And then they stopped it. And then the numbers just went, and that was it. Right. So, yep. Doesn't really surprise me. Um, For this, I don't think it's going to do anything. Obviously, if anything, this is going to, again, help our cause even more. Yep. Like, like always, they just keep losing. They just keep doubling down. It doesn't work. And yep. when a push comes to shove, they will not support the things that they say they support because they don't clearly. Because if they did, all of these things would not be failing, and they are. So, no. Like I always say at the end of my videos to everybody, like just you know, keep up the good fight, and um, never, never give in. You know, I say more vulgar stuff in my videos, but you know, I, I won't say it here. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, you know, I usually say like let let your nuts hang, and just you know. Screw these people. Who cares? Oh, they yeah. can't do anything to you. Don't worry about it. Just keep enjoying great games and great movies and stuff. Put your money where your mouth is. Vote with your wallets. And we can change these things because they already know that we have so much power when it comes to these things as a community. Mm-hmm. They really can't stop you. They can't. You know, there's nothing they can do. Marvel's changing. Why is Marvel changing? It's because of the internet. Like all of us, right? And like, like all of us, not just even content creators, just the people that are commenting, that are watching, everybody all of us combined, that's why they have to change. It's the same with Star Wars. Eventually, they're going to have to change it. They can't keep this up forever, right? The same thing with Sony. They brought out Concord, and we were like, yeah, no, we're not. No, no, no. 
And they went, okay, well, we'll we'll take this back. It never happened. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lost. Go we'll yeah. go make another go make a days gone too, please. That's what we really want. You know, th- this this goes back to the whole issue of I'm gonna back it up here. This goes back to the whole issue of these acolyte uh Disney Star Wars shills. They just will not stop. Okay. The show was bad. We told everybody the show was going to be bad. Nobody watched it, not because of us, just because there was no interest. And we discussed this at length earlier in one of the earlier segments tied to some of the other topics we were talking to. Okay. But you've got the the usual suspects out here on X, Um, the ones that have been, quite frankly, the most antagonistic uh, and the most mean spirited personally to other YouTubers out there that just disagree with them. We're not talking about like people like me that might want to go out and just we will trash on the Acolyte or trash on Disney Star Wars because it's trash. And hey, we do YouTube commentary on stuff like this. This is our prerogative to go in there and engage in this type of of thing because this is, let's be honest, this is the fan base we represent. And I'm going to disengage the headphones here now that we're uh, guest free. But it's our prerogative out there to go on and and clown on shows like The Acolyte that are genuinely awful. And guess what? The overwhelming vast majority of television viewers out there and Star Wars fans wholeheartedly agree with us, whether they like it or not. But you have these people out here, and I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to explain why this is happening and why I think this is happening. Uh, because it's more than just them being upset. This Kyle Katarn guy, who's been one of the most uh, um, antagonistic folks out there to other YouTubers, and you know me, I- I've never been the type on this show to talk about other social media influencers, other YouTubers, or stuff like this. Even when a ton of drama is going on, I might say, you know, hey, I wish this person the best. God bless them and their family or, you know, whatever. There's been very, very rare to never when I've gone into this. But we're reaching a point now where this is getting ridiculous because this is going to affect all of us out there if we if we just continue to let this slide. And I'm going to be very clear up front. I'm not asking anybody in this chat to go out and, 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 and trash or threaten, uh, uh, you know, any of these people uh, on on X. I mean, I, I'm not advocating for that. I'm just bringing this to your attention so you know this is the kind of garbage that we're dealing with, okay? Uh, it's time for you to be a part of the solution, Team YouTube. This is YouTube's kind of back channel uh, uh, X tag. Uh, so you'll see it all the time. Like when Drunk3PO got demonetized, we would tag Team YouTube on X to get their attention. Hey, you need to review this demonetization of drunk 3PO, this is ridiculous. This just happened a couple of weeks ago. Fortunately, this situation was resolved within a matter of days because it was a bogus claim. It was just something that YouTube, uh, you know, the algorithm or whatever accidentally got Jay caught up in something that he wasn't involved in, like reused content. It just wasn't the case. But this guy says, while you continue to allow these channels to be monetized, you're incentivizing hatred and racism. And he's specifically talking about Nerdrotic, Ryan Kennel, Geeks and Gamers, and I'm sure there's a lot of others you can throw us in there. I'm a little mad we didn't get included, but hey, we're growing up. We'll get there. Um, but this is actually a campaign. This isn't just, we disagree with you. This isn't, we don't like what you're saying and we have a different opinion. This is, we actually want to destroy you and your family. That's what this is. We we actually want we actually want to cut your source of revenue off because remember, Nerdrotic, Ryan Kennel, uh, Jeremy, these are these are full time YouTube enterprises. It's not like Valiant Renegade who's got a you know day job, uh, you know th- that I've been doing for twenty some odd years. I'm not a YouTuber. I joke with Mike about this all the time. Um, you know, I, I I love doing this, and I love the audience because the audience helps pay the bills here on YouTube for me to be able to keep doing YouTube and justify it, and that's really important. And you guys are awesome, but these guys, this is th- their families depend on this heavily. Um, they're they're I mean, this is what they do, 
And they're trying to, this guy, these people are trying to get them demonetized because they disagree with them. There's nothing that Gary and Ryan and, and, and Jeremy and Geeks and Gamers and them are saying or doing on YouTube that are violating TOS insofar as we know. One of the reasons that we can be pretty confident in that supposition is because they're still monetized. And if there's channels out there that would certainly easily cause the, the attention or the ire of YouTube's TOS, now those three might be at the top of the game. They're still monetized. So this, 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 you know, trying to grab YouTube's attention to go give some undue scrutiny or the, a massive audit of their channels to see if they can be demonetized, this is vicious. This is low. This is disgusting. This is low rent behavior. I, I mean, I, I just, I don't even know what to say um, because you don't like the fact that we thought the acolyte was garbage, that it was. Um, and for all the reasons I'm not going to go through again. Molly Damon, this is another one out there. Uh, again, and a lot of these people, a lot of these people are compensated, paid by Disney. Paid by Disney in one way or the other, either directly or indirectly. Uh, and in some cases, both. We talked earlier about how a lot of these same people were flown out on Ubisoft and ostensibly Disney Lucasfilm's dime to go out there and, and fluff Star Wars Outlaws uh, on the biggest marketing campaign that Ubisoft had ever engaged in for a video game ever, Star Wars Outlaws. Ubisoft's words. A lot of the people here were part of that. That is paid compensation, right? That's what that is. You go on a game show when you win a prize, whether it's cash or a car, you're getting a 1099 at the end of the year because that was paid to you. That's value. You're going to pay money. These people got paid. They got sent on an all expenses paid trip. It's still compensation, whether they get 1099 for it or not. But the point being is that these are the Disney shills that you always hear about. You know, Again, same kind of boilerplate language. I'm not even going to read their stupid manifesto in this video because I just, it, what does it matter? Uh, the fandom menace, Jared the Dark Jedi, has run rampant for far too long and now a flourishing cottage industry of thinly veiled bigotry has been able to thrive while making fandom spaces a cesspool of hatred. It's time for Team YouTube to step up and enforce their TOS. Again, we know what you're asking for. You're asking... You're asking, you're asking YouTube to demonetize these channels and destroy these people's lives and family. These are the cancel pigs. That's what they are. These are all pigs. Uh, this is cancel culture, cancel pigs, rewriting Ripley. Another one of these, these hyper lefties. A handful of YouTubers have jeopardized the safety of our community. Please cite examples. I'm so tired of hearing these absolutely absurd, ridiculous uh, uh, claims and uh, never seeing one damn receipt, not one of any genuine. What, what, what are we talking about here? What, what safety of your community? I mean, oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what it is. How could I be so silly? Of course, I know the safety of the community we're talking about, right? Isn't it the same one that we to always be do in any way, shape or form, uh a part of the wave that is ushering in inclusion and and safety for black nerds <laughs> it's 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 like it's my dream come true yeah they actually believe that crap these people actually believe that crap like that that comes out of amanda stenberg's mouth that star wars before her was never safe for black fans or some damn thing. And we've played the video from 1983 countless times showing the, I mean, truly, genuinely diverse crowds packed out in front of theaters for hours on end before the premiere of Return of the Jedi. Uh, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, male, female, go on down the line. They were all there. And this was 41 years ago. <sighs> Team YouTube, demonetize Nerd Roddick, demonetize Ryan Kinnell, RK Outpost, demonetize geeks and gamers. Hate should not be a career path. You know, 
I think I see where the hate is actually coming from. It's the fact that these people hate that other people's opinions apparently, definitively, measurably represent a far larger portion of the population and the fandom than they do. And they don't like it. And what they're really mad about, and this is key, is that, you see, like we said, if Disney is compensating these folks in some form or fashion, cash, perks, flying them out to the parks, putting them up in hotel rooms, making sure that their tweets and their YouTube pages and, and videos get a little bit of a boost from the Disney bot army in the marketing wing, all of which is probably happening. Again, my assumption, based on observation, it may be anecdotal, but we've seen things from places like Master of the TDS, who's out there on X, that has shown quite a bit of compelling evidence to that fact that this is, by his account, allegedly happening. But if these same folks are out there stumping for Disney Star Wars as hard as they are, and stumping for Disney Star Wars and their games and their television shows and their movies as hard as they are, with the full backing and support of Disney Lucasfilm, and they're not having any impact, they might just be worried that their future perks and or revenues from Disney may just dry up. I think, and I wonder if that is not what's going on here. Because there's not a whole lot that is going to send me over the edge when it comes to discussing topics on live shows to where I get really pissed off. But this pisses me off. You're coming after my friends. You're coming after fine, good people on YouTube. You might not like everything they have to say, and that's fine. And that doesn't mean that everything that they've done in their life is perfect and wonderful. We're all sinners. We're all flawed human beings. But in terms of talking about Star Wars, these are fine people. There's nothing wrong with these guys. You don't like what they have to say? Fine. But the idea that these guys are racists and bigots and all this other kind of stuff. And I know people love to make jokes and silly things. Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to. Why demonetize these people? Why? Give me one good excuse. Apart from what I just said, I think maybe these folks are a little bit threatened because they are not having the type of influence that they and Disney hope they did. I mean, Derek Anderson was on here earlier. Lorena Creole has been on here. Are these people racist for hating Star Wars? Disney Star Wars? Not Star Wars, but Disney Star Wars? Are they racist? I don't think so. I mean, you just make bad products. It's as simple as that. But blaming everybody else, and like Endymion brought up earlier tonight, if we, it would be great if those of us, if we really had that kind of impact here on YouTube with our channels, even channels as big as Gary, right? If, if Nerd Roddick at a million plus subs really had that kind of that kind of impact, which of course he has some impact, but he didn't stop 10 million people from watching The Acolyte. That would be great, but it didn't happen. It'd be great for Gary to have that kind of influence, but he doesn't. He's got a big influence, but not that big. People just don't care anymore. So they've been burned too many times by bad Star Wars, by bad Disney products. They have grown apathetic, and they just don't care. <sighs> so bugger off. This is the best you got. I feel sad for you. Make sure you're subscribed to Valiant Renegade and join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern for the live show.